What is your favorite part about Caltech? Oh, okay. My favorite part about Caltech, classic, the people. I like the people here. The people. The people. The people. My friends. The people. The people here. The people. Our fun people. The people here. Work never ends. Just kidding. Good morning! It is 8, no, it is 7.53 and I am walking to lab. I woke up at 7.35 today. Today is Wednesday and definitely is a lot chiller than my Tuesdays. Um, yeah, yesterday, uh, like from the videos you can see, I spent like uh, over almost 12 hours, 12 hours? Yeah, like, yeah, 12 hours, like, away from my room and being on a small campus like Caltech you tend to go and be able to go to your room frequently to like do work in between or just like grab things so that's saying a lot when you're away for that long. Alright just got out of my Chemi 103 lecture which goes from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Today our professor wasn't here so it was lectured by our TA Sophie who's really awesome. Um, yeah all of the lectures or all the classes I know of they're lectured by professors and um, yeah for us Chemi classes at least um, we tend to go to all the well lectures just because they're like very useful um, I know like a lot of other people, um, more like in other majors, they skip class sometimes. I know I skip classes like especially when I was in core um, as a freshman. Oh yeah, and today, uh, this morning, lab went really well. Our enzyme had pretty high yields, so that was exciting and I'm really excited about my project which I'm starting early like for my senior thesis. Um, yeah, so walking to the gym right now and I'm going to actually give a call to my mom. I like calling my parents like on the way walking to places because multitasking. Alright, I finished up at the gym and I'm walking back right now. I just did some weights uh, and then walked on the Stairmaster for a bit while watching lecture videos for EC11 on edX. So, uh, ed Ec 11 is like a flip section, so uh, lectures are like online, and then what we did yesterday in class was like group work where we get extra credit points. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, and also, uh, I might be wondering why like I keep just vlogging and talking this way. Like, I know many people do voiceovers, but I don't have the mic or the time for that matter to do that. So, yeah, just keep enjoying this these awkward like vlogs. <laughs> So I just took a shower and now I'm coming to throw my laundry into the washing machines. Um, kind of in a rush because I have to meet my friend at 12.30 for lunch. So I don't have to at 12.30. I plan to slash want to. Oh, I chose washing machine 5. That was my basketball number. Um, okay, so over here. Cool, so that should be just enough time for me to get lunch and come back and throw everything in the dryer. So, yeah, I am walking back now down this sketchy basement in the north houses. So, I like to schedule or like um, make a time for even my more social plans just because it's like it's just a time to force me to be more efficient with other things. Friend Christy said she'll meet me there, so I'm walking over there right now. Oh, on the right, I think it's my Ecolon. Oh, <laughs> Ecolon. My Ec 11 professor who just walked into uh, Baxter. Oh, also, I got an email this morning saying that I got a spot to have lunch with him at the AF and a bunch of other students on February 27th, so it's pretty cool. Um, walking to Broad is kind of longer because it's on the corner of campus. Campus is basically like a giant block 
uh, about 10 minutes, but it is worth it because they have good food. Today you're gonna work all day, and you know you have to stay up all night <laughs> until the day, like the time of the demo. I'm still <laughs> <always> enjoying this. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not. Like, oh, he's a no, no. Intellectual and not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Both of us have like barely slept in the past three days. My eyes are oh. crusted out. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, you you guys are good students too. You guys are good students too. You guys have just have really hard terms. No, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> like, I don't know what's happening. I just know I probably have to stay up until like 5 p.m. tomorrow because like our robot's not working and we could probably have to stay up all night until like the mobility demo at 3 p.m. and then have to stay through the mobility demo. So like. Oh, Chrissy. Okay, I got the special on toasted wheat with a side salad of avocado and mandarin uh, kale salad. What'd you get, Christy? I got a turkey avocado bacon sandwich. Mm. Awesome. Very nice. The <laughs> Thanks for joining me with your busy schedule for lunch. <laughs> yeah. So, how's these days been? They've been rough. <laughs> But uh, I guess we're getting through it. I don't know. Very little sleep <laughs> is involved. Yeah, Christy says she's dying, and Katie, we just talked with her, like, she slept at what, 5 a.m., 3 a.m., and 4 a.m. the past three nights, and you slept at 6 a.m. Maybe she said 5, 6, 8. <laughs> oh, shoot. Never mind. <laughs> but... <laughs> so, you're a Mechie, right? What classes are you taking that are hard? Uh, this term, it's ME72 and ME50, and they're taught by the same prof. So he kind of has like designed it so that they kind of just alternate. Mm -hmm. But like you need 36 units to like still be a student, right? So mm -hmm. then like there are other classes that you have to take. So it's a little rough trying to balance those two with other classes. Yeah, especially because Chrissy's pre-med, so I'm taking or orgo. Go. Yes. Okay, back from the bro, back from Broad, and I threw my laundry into the dryer. Oh, so I put it in across from the washer I was using at first, but I forgot number 12 is the one that's broken, so I wasted an extra $1.75 trying to dry my clothes. <laughs> okay, so right now um, it's like 1.35. I'm going to try and do some CS. My computer would work. Um, and then go at to... Fleming Dining Hall to work with my friends on some transport. While I wait for my dumb computer to start up, um, I had a good time uh, lunch with Christy, but uh, poor Christy's uh, pretty stressed out. Some Mechies have it pretty hard this term. They're constantly working in the shop or they have a lot of hard reports, long reports that like, for example, Christy said she worked 24 hours straight this weekend. And that's really sad. I don't think I've ever worked 24 hours straight on anything. Can you hear that? My laptop just continuously attempts to boot up. Driving back from the computer repair shop. Thank you so much, Karen. It's of dark course. for driving me. <laughs> um, yeah, while we're on this ride, how about uh, you say, um, what's your favorite part about Caltech? Favorite part? Oh my gosh. I like how close everything is in terms of like socially and physically. <laughs> the I don't know what my favorite part is. <laughs> I think that's my favorite part. Okay, yeah, you can think about it more. Oh, um, yeah, I like the small school community feel. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel very supported, I think. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, um, <laughs> oh, no problem, <laughs> it's okay, but yeah, also today's like a good example, the people are just so nice, like, good friends, they'll just like, take you to places, like, help you out in an emergency, so, yeah, thank you, Kay. <laughs> no problem. You've arrived. Hi. Mm -hmm. um, what's for dinner? I'm eating some lemon broccoli and hummus and like salad. Very, very healthy. Dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yep. On the dinner table, we have some tilapia, I think, rice, and other things. quick update my phone's running a little low on battery right now I'm walking back from the gym after uh, working helping to work the orange out the women's basketball game we lost today by two points it was so sad but uh, the team played really well and it was a fun game to watch and help at so update on the laptop so I took it to the repair shop today um, which was uh, pretty helpful it was helpful because the guy said that he couldn't get a status report or like diagnose what the real issue is um, and let me know by tomorrow at noon and then get it fixed within a day. So it's a lot faster than having to ship it all the way to a Costco warehouse. Yeah, so I miss working at uh, Fleming in Fleming Dining Hall with my friends, but I went to SFL uh, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. for office hours. Um, and then we like worked there for a few, uh, for about another hour before I left to repair my, um, to the repair shop. Then I came back, went to house dinner, and then ran off to uh, work this game at 7. And right now it is about like 8.30. I'm gonna walk back. Um, at least I got my work on my uh, flash drive, so I'm gonna go to the library and do that. Okay, so I just finished doing my laundry, or folding my laundry. It was all like kind of boring stuff. I don't know if like you guys or people will like care about this, but it's keeping it as realistic as possible. So I learned many things at the repair shop today. So basically like with um, our computers, we really shouldn't just like close it and then like bring it to other places or like even just close it um, at night. Like you should power it off completely because otherwise the hard drive is continuously running. And like I know basically everyone else, everyone does that. But fun fact, you should not do that. I do it a lot, like, and like a lot of people do too, just because throughout the day you're running from place to place and then you bring your laptop for everything, like to look at your problem sets or like to do your problem sets on there. And then like, of course, like emails, everything. Like you really realize how much you rely on your laptop, uh, especially when you can't use it anymore. Oh man, what a stressful day. Like I only got my laundry out like, right before house dinner at like 6, 10. So it's been sitting there like for many hours. Sorry, I'm one of those people who takes up the uh, drying machines. But uh, with my computer and then like the basketball game, like I was pretty distracted, stressed about that. But oh my gosh, the basketball game, like we lost by two points and just PTSD to last year when I was on the team and we lost by one point to uh, this other school, same school we played today on a buzzer beater so it's like oh i was so close but at least we're getting there oh it's just hitting me like how much i have to do like i have to finish two sets by friday um one of them cs uh, the other one's transport and i just have to send a bunch of emails of course like well i mean i guess that's not too bad i have to work on my narrow homework and start keep going on the Ec 11 lectures. Oh, they take so long to watch. But, um, geez, like, this term, I told myself, like, as a New Year's resolution, oh, I'll just, like, study periodically, and then it's, like, easier. It's, like, week four already, and, like, week five comes real quick, and that's midterms. And I said I was going to study periodically, so it's, like, easy, you know? But the thing with, like, work at Caltech, so people say it's, like, trying to drink from a, a fire hydrant, and that, like, the knowledge, or not the knowledge, or I guess knowledge, that, like, teaching and like facts just like come at you so quickly that you can't absorb them and then like we have so much work and like problem sets that like and then you're like just scrambling to get the homework done like at all like by all means and like trying to help each other um like 
collaboration and like just really scrambling to get it done um, versus like taking time after you finish your set and get it back to be able to review and see what you did, did wrong. Like I still try to like look at comments and stuff, but sometimes like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it the next day. And of course, in like time after time, then it just comes midterms and that's when you're actually reviewing anything. And it's then like you have to like cram everything that you realize you didn't review fully the first time. Anyways, I'm gonna go start on the many things that I have to do at the library and yeah. This is Emma's jink laptop from SFL that she borrowed because her laptop is also broken. Uh, we joked that her laptop has a virus that has spread to my laptop. Um, yeah, so I just came back from Fleming Dining Hall where I worked on transport with my good friends Alessa and Nyla. Um, they helped me a lot through this um, set um, during this time because um, of all the stuff that I missed when I was trying to figure out my laptop. Um, which is really, really awesome, and so hearts for them, and um, this is another example of how great the people are at Caltech, which everyone keeps talking about, like, the best part is people, and I agree because, um, like, the collaboration policy and everyone tends to be, like, um, really helpful and considerate just because we know, like, as uh, cheesy as it sounds, that we're all in this together. Uh, I forgot to mention this before, but Lloyd has, um, all their rooms have couches included, and they're really nice, um, to just roll into, um, to sleep sometimes, especially, like, for me first term when I had my injury, so I couldn't climb up into my loft bed as easily. Oh, also, Emma was gone first term because of study abroad, but yeah, like, the loft beds, they make a lot of space, which is nice, but they're hard to get used to because, like, Obviously, when you're super tired and you just want to roll right into bed, you can't really as easily and just crash right away. Speaking of crashing, it is 1.20 a.m., so I'm going to sleep. Good night. Okay, you say, Alessa, what are you working on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that, do that. Tell me where to go. Okay. <laughs>